All right, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to sniff packets from the command line. So we can just sniff packets using Wireshark, but another way, and this is kind of the preferred way in a lot of these methods, is to use a tool called ng. So this lets you capture packets, but for this tutorial right now, I'm not going to be saving any of the results. I just want to run it real quick because I want to show you guys a real basic overview of all of the different um, settings and just explain a few things. So if I just go to arrow dump, arrow dump, geez, can't type. I have to type like the entire word or else I can't type it. So arrow dump minus ng. Then right after this, you just type what interface do you want to listen from? So WLAN one mon, that was our monitoring one and hit enter. So since we didn't specify any other settings, it's just going to look for any, um, you know, Wi-Fi access point in my area and also Whenever I turn on my device, you guys are going to see that it pops up down below. All right. So I, I was just playing around my tablet. Probably shouldn't mention that. So around my area, I live in a pretty small town. If you guys can't tell, we are seeing one network. It's called Bucky's Wi-Fi. So in these top sections right here, these are all of your networks, all the access points. So this is my neighbors that just popped up right here, this Belkin 5C. And I believe this is one of her devices down here. So again, remember the top is for all the networks and the bottom is all of the individual devices, the phones, the tablets, the laptops, whatever wireless devices there are. So now let me go ahead and talk to you guys about what all of these columns mean because it's actually really important. So we'll talk about the networks first. So the BSS ID, this is just the MAC address for that network's access point. So this is the MAC address for my wireless router, and this is the MAC address for my neighbors, so on and so forth. Now power, this means the signal strength from your computer, which is in my case my laptop, to the access point. Now the closer this gets to zero, then the stronger it is. So anything above negative 70, is good anything below it is bad so negative 60 this is all right i have a decent connection if i try to connect like to negative 92 um if i just try to get online and browse you know like uh instagram or whatever then i would have a real bad connection so remember usually you want to be as close to zero as you can and this is actually pretty important because the stronger signal we have the better our attacks are going to be whenever we start trying to crack passwords and perform like man in the middle attacks and all of that fun stuff. So this beacons right here, this column is the messages that the access point is sending out to let other devices know that it exists. So all the time your router, your wireless router is like, Hey, I'm a Wi-Fi router. Someone connect to me. Hey, I'm a Wi-Fi router. And it does it several times per second. So Again, these are just the signals to letting other devices know, hey, I'm an access point, you can connect me. This data right here, this is the number of packets sniffed. So on my network, I think Amazon is still sending me packets, even though I went to that site like you know, a minute ago. So this is the number of packets that we collected from that network. This number per second is just the number of packets it sniffed in the last 10 seconds, and it's just for a statistical analysis. This channel right here, different access points can broadcast on different channels and they do this so they don't interfere with each other. So basically whenever they broadcast on different channels, me and my neighbor, and even, you know, if I had a roommate was living in an apartment, we could all have our own access points and they could broadcast without causing a whole bunch of problems. Pretty sweet. So this MB right here, this is just your speed. ENC, this is just the encryption type. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. So right now I'm using WPA encryption. So that's why everything looks scrambled. This network is actually open. So you never want to connect to an open network. It's incredibly insecure. So uh, yeah, so that's just the encryption type. We'll talk more about those later on. The cipher is the cipher used to decrypt the packets. And if you don't know what that means, we'll understand it more whenever we learn about encryption. This is the type of authentication and PSK means pre-shared key. So basically um, they're using Wi-Fi that you need a password to get on. So basically like 
most all Wi-Fi's actually, except these punks who are, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess they're very trusting people. <laughs> My neighbor. All right. Now, ESSID, this is just the user-friendly name of your Wi-Fi network. So mine is Bucky's Wi-Fi. I actually changed it before this tutorial, but uh, yeah, there you go. And down here, all of this is pretty simple. The MAC address of the access point they're connected to, the MAC address of the device, and some other information that we can use. But yeah, there you go. Um, that's the basics of, again, it's called Aerodump NG. And usually, this is actually capturing packets right now. However, it's not saving any of them, so we can't do anything useful with the data whenever we stop it. And if you ever want to stop it, hold down Control C, and it's just going to stop capturing. So later on, we're going to capture the data and analyze it, do some really awesome stuff with it. But for now, that's all you guys get. So thank you guys for watching, and I will smell you guys next time.